my name is Ricky and this is my first video for my new astrophotography channel. I've been doing astrophotography now for only about two years but it's been a very steep learning curve um, and I'm hoping some of these videos that I upload will help others that are just starting out in this amazing hobby. I'm hoping to upload astrophotography tutorials, gear reviews and image processing hints and tips. So to start off with, I'm going to do a telescope review on the Altair Starwave 80 EDR. This has been my main imaging scope for about 18 months and it has been absolutely great. It is also quite good for beginners starting out in the hobby as it has a fairly wide field of view with a focal length of 555 millimeters. As you can see, it is a fairly compact scope and it has an extendable dew shield so you can actually reduce the size down to around about 44 centimeters. It is also fairly light as well. Um, it weighs about 2.6 kilos. Um, so depending on what other gear you're using with it, you may actually get away with using this on a star tracker like the Star Adventurer. So this is an 80 millimeter F7 doublet refractor. It uses FPL 53 glass and this is the glass that you need in your astrophotography telescope due to the great color correction. I really like the focuser on this telescope as well. Um, it's a dual rack and pinion focuser. So you have the coarse adjustment and then the fine tune adjustment allowing you to get a really good focus. Another aspect that I really like on this scope and I don't think I could do without now is the actual camera rotator. So it comes with the camera rotator so they're able to actually rotate the camera which helps with image framing. So this scope actually came with the tube rings and also the dovetail bar um, which is a Vixen style. Um, one thing that it didn't come with um, but is definitely a recommended purchase is the reducer. I purchased a 0.8 times V3 reducer from Altair um, and this reduces the telescope down to 444 millimeters but it also makes it faster at f5.6 um, and also what the flattener does it will flatten the field of view within the images so you will get perfect round stars right up to the edge of the image. I use this scope sat on top of my mount which is the Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro. It is a mount that I do recommend and hopefully I will do a review on this mount at a later date. For the imaging cameras I have a Canon 450D um, which my wife and myself removed the IR cut filter so it's been astro modified um, so I use this camera mainly for nebula photography. Um, and I also have a Canon 600D um, which has not been astro modified so I've used this camera for Milky Way photography and also some photography of galaxies um, like the Andromeda Galaxy. Sat on top of the scope I have the Altair 50mm guide scope um, and the Altair GP cam which is a mono camera. Um, so this allows me to use guiding when I'm doing my astrophotography um, which enables me to take longer exposures. So to conclude, the Altair Starwave 80 EDR in my opinion is a really really good scope. The build quality is fantastic, the focuser is really smooth and precise I like the camera rotator which is definitely an added bonus and with the additional purchase of the field flattener um, you can get some amazing astrophotography shots with this telescope. Um, I must say on that note I have no affiliation with Altair Astro whatsoever. Um, they just sell some really good equipment 
and their customer service is very very good also so this is my first video so if you did like it please like and subscribe to this channel i am hoping to upload some more videos in the near future um, what i will do i will leave you with a few images that i've taken using this scope the altair starwave 80 edr thank you for watching and i hope to be back soon